Hello folks, and this is Key, and we're now in Greece, and as I dreaded it, and I probably knew it, like I said from last video, uh, this is Final Assault's version of a B-17 bomber moment. As you notice, we're rather low to the ground, but not low enough to be engaged by ground forces. And also, the AI of the uh, aircraft is very different. Uh, basically, they come at you in random directions. There is no uh, directional call, but they do give you some radar warning of what's going on. They don't give you high or low bearings, and unlike the other versions, this time they'll actually circle around and attack you again if if you miss them on the first pass, meaning that you can get hurt twice if you can't get down the first time, meaning it's a lot of trial and error. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is the uh, simple fashion of three tries of doing it normally, and if I don't do it on the third try, it'll just be safe stayed through it, forcefully through it, and uh, this kind of ended up being one of those where I failed at three times and it done it. Anyway, like I said, uh, the bolt. The bullet pattern's a bit different. The uh, speed of the bullets are a little different. Uh, fighter health is a little bit higher than what, they, what their other counterparts are. And uh, as you can see, they actually hurt a whole bunch. Also, they do give you some nice flak, uh, flak cannons to make the playing all jumble around and stuff. They don't do any damage because you can't actually target flak from down below, so. But the shaking and the jostling of the plane can mess up your shots. And the bullet speed is a little bit different. As I said before. So you have to keep everything in consideration. Anyway, uh, with this being the next rendition, there's going to be one last B-17 bomber moment in this line of games, and that'll be Team Assault, and I've already done it once, but I'm going to have to do it again, so uh, you'll have to bear with me on it for that LP, but uh, basically, this is one of the game gameplay mechanics I wish they hadn't re reused over and over and over again. And what's sad is that uh, other games actually stole this, or this game stole from other games. Um, what I mean by that is uh, another game. Um, See what was Secret Weapons over Normandy does the same thing. You fly as the ball gunner of a Mi-17, and you while you're dropping up bombs on an airfield, and you uh, parachute down to steal an enemy uh, Messerschmitt. So uh, prototype. So basically, uh, like I said, it, it's kind of a little rip-offish. I don't know who who ripped off who first, but it is ripped off, and it is rather annoying of a game uh, memmy to do over and over and over again. But uh, pretty much, th this LP has been a little bit frustrating, and I have played uh, Team Assaults quite often enough where it's a little bit easier and a lot less annoying as uh, these versions are as far as gameplay. Uh, the World at War is probably the best one of the series than the other ones. That, and then Landsay and Air had, had its moments of being rather cool. Other than the uh, frames per second stuff, which I don't think it's the game's fault. But, um, yeah, Team Assault, I, I can't wait to get started on that one. And, um, for those who've been enjoying this uh, LP so far, I'm sorry I've been kind of slow on uploading this, but 
been noticing that some of my audience has been trying to catch up with my videos. Uh, I know it's about a good 10, 15 views or so behind. They just kind of trickle, trickle in slowly. So just giving them a chance to watch the rest of those series before I move on. Uh, I believe this is going to be part 5A. Uh, like I said, there's nothing really much to talk about here. It's just another B-17 bomber moment. And as you can see here, they're, they've swarmed around all over me. And I already died once. Looks like one more hit and I'm down. I'm nearing the drop zone, so I might just push it with save state and see how far I can go. I don't think I'll make it, though. No, nope, I did make it. I only two tries. That's pretty good. And I turned into a graham cracker. <laughs> um, yeah, the other games did a lot better job of the parachuting than this game did turning into a graham cracker. <laughs> but anyway, we finally landed on the beach. And since I don't want to start the mission all over from the beginning, uh, I'm just going to save state here for pretty obvious reasons. <laughs> and there's a green object way there in the corner there. I uh, don't know what it's for. Maybe we'll figure out that, that later. Uh, and we're at the Greece, Greek temple. Pretty much they're attempting to ambush you, but they don't really do it quite well. There is some texture issues. Uh, basically, uh, 3DO kind of got a little lazy again on us and uh, made the objects wider than what they appear to be, so making uh, shooting through cracks a little harder. Uh, I mean, it's kind of BS considering their other levels was pretty fine tuned, but nothing you can do here. But anyway, I have no idea where yet, where we are, and uh, other than we're in Greece, and some more ridiculous ambushing. Like I said, uh, looks like 3 D O was sort of lazy here and made things a little too predictable, or they didn't really try. I I, I don't know. It just I mean, look, looking at this. It's just too bland. Missing something. Well, let's go see what that green dot is. I uh, still no idea what the green dot is. Let's look up. Nope. No aircraft. No idea what it is. And we'll go ahead and. Oh, stuck behind a tree. A texture fail again. Okay. Uh, looks like there's some blueprints of some sort up there. I'll figure out, look for any. Uh, oh, and looks like there's a med kit there. Looks like a supply route for an underground sub base to some ancient island. Okay, well, that tells us we're going to go into a submarine. And now we have to figure out how to get to the red dot. Uh, this is what I was meaning before with lazy programming. You would think you'd go that way and see there's a raft there. There's a couple of tan that we couldn't shoot in time. But since we have already triggered them, they're triggered. But now we got to figure out a way of getting down there. So let's try the green dot again. And no, nothing at the green dot. Uh, I'm gonna walk around a bit and figure out where to go. So uh, I'll be right back once I find I've got the way. Okay, and we're back. And I got ran right into that same texture packet again. Isn't that fun? So okay, we tried down here before. Nothing was there other than the two tan. We know that. 
So let's try up here. Now, you would think all of this is cliff here, because, I mean, look at it. This is all cliff. Doesn't it look like all cliff to you? Isn't that silly? And you can't run by that for some odd reason. Can't use that as natural cover. But no, they expect you to just walk this way with no inclination or hint why. And like I said, it, it's just, that was a little bit bad texturing. And it looks like they dropped us two graham crackers <laughs> to uh, help <laughs> fight the battle. But they just stand there like tards. Oh, they finally noticed them, but it's too late. I already killed them all for them. You lazy turds. Also, notice they give me 200... 30 machine gun ammo, yet there was no call for it. Kind of sad, isn't it? Well, this is Kenny signing out for Part 5A. Thank you.